Okay, now, best trimmer in the world. Everybody asks me this all the time. Best setup in the world. Now, there, I think everybody knows that I have made this trimmer, let's be honest. I know Husqvarna's pushing it right now a lot, a 525 LST, but the only reason anybody knows about it, let's be honest, is me. That's arrogant, yes, but I don't care. I've come to the realization, because I look online and I see who all the people view and talk to. It's just, it's, I'm the trimmer guy. I don't know how it happened, it happened, so I'm proud of that. So Husqvarna's pushing these. I'm glad they are. They were real bad at doing websites and advertising, but this is the best trimmer in the world. Here is my 2015 or 2014, I can't remember, factory. I haven't done anything to it. As you can see, I have just wore it smacked out. It is smooth, it is rubbed and fell and the plates dented under there. I've dropped this one a hundred times. You see it? And I've got Echo Speed Feeds. I do have uh, Rapid Reloads, but these three happen to have Echo. Husqvarna has a great new head, a Rapid Reload, I like it. But I have a lot of trimmers, a lot if y'all know anything about me. So, and it's the best trimmer out there. Now this is its brother. For anybody that don't know, this company Husqvarna owns Red Max. The innards are the same in these trimmers. I hate, I used to always say they're clones, which they are, but they're not. I guess the terminology clone means a exact copy. It's not. It's not. It is not. They use different, I think this, I would say this is more of a barrel carburetor as to this one is not. So they have different carbs on them from what I can see with my balls. Uh, other than that, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they got different exhausts, but the, the block and the piston, all that is the exact same. Now, Husqvarna just made it better. Like, see, Red Max is like most companies. You see how you see the throttle wire and the safety wires in here? Yeah, see how he puts his gas and it did it. Husqvarna, guys, then it auto crap. Anyway, don't have none of that. Even on the new 525 LST Mark II, none of it. They don't have none of it. Vominos, nothing. Nothing to snag. Now this snags. This has a bigger gas tank, but the 525 LST Mark II has corrected that, has a bigger gas tank. But I noticed the plate's smaller. I don't know if the plate's smaller or the gas tank's just bigger. When they come back in stock, I'm going to buy one. I mean, yeah, I mean, Red Max is in no way made. It's the same company, remember. Now, Husqvarna knows I fussed for years because I bought a 525LK series and they have rubber right here and they have a rubber handle that they stowed off the Red Max Brothers. And I fussed for years and guess what's now on there, huh? Huh, huh. Yeah, so they listen. Don't act like they don't listen. I, the primer bulbs are original, which is weird because every brand otherwise I have the primer, but primer bulb just... <clears throat> Look how smooth from wearing out on my elbow. This thing will keep you from getting hot. The spark plug's hidden just like the Red Max. Around back, you see all this space. Host of and nothing. This one feels lighter than all three of them because this is the oldest model. This is a 2021 maybe. 20, I have several of these, so I don't know. It's one of the ones I got. It has solid shaft in it. It has anti-vibe in it, so it's kind of it's got these rubber pieces that attach this handle to that. So it's kind of like a it's not a bushing or nothing. It just help takes the vibe. So it's strong, tight on there, so it ain't going nowhere. They used to be a little looser, but they corrected that. The air filters, two-piece air filter that's pleated and got a foam pre-filter. The chokes, perfect. They're easy. You pull it and hit it with your hand, you'll cut it off. It's vented, the tank's vented, so it's kind of like a check valve, if I'm not mistaken. So it never gets water in it. These things stay out in the weather all the time. Red Max, you see their little vented, uh, you see their little gas lines and their primer bulb. Well, if you take this apart, Husqvarna has hoses going to the front. 
But see, this is all protected now. You can roll this down a cliff and nothing's gonna snag. You see how the Red Max, I'm not comparing it to Red Max because again, the engines are the same. But the carburetors from what I've seen online are not the same in the way they act like this will crank and wide open quick. But anybody that owns a Red Max knows it'll start pretty easy but you got to adjust the choke while you're revving up. Going boom, 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 boom. Then you, it's cold nature as can be. This almost instant, you're already mo trimming. So, and less vibration. I like this handle sometimes more and sometimes I like this one more. Sometimes I think this feels better. I ain't gonna lie to my arms because my elbow will rest pretty good, but then I'll use this one. I'm like, oh yeah, Husqvarna is better. Then I'll use this one. I was like, well, Husqvarna ain't the best. I said, Red Max is awful good, but then I'll use this again. And I'm like, nope. So this is the best trimmer. I have, I've got a video coming. You're going to see the uh, steel 111 four mix trimmer I got. I don't know if y'all have ever even seen it. I've got 535s. I've got everything. I'm going to put them in this field when this field grows back up. I've got a field over there I'm going to use. And we're going to put them to the test. But as far as people's like, well, my thing lasts longer. This is like 2015, bro. That's seven years of lawn care commercially used, dropped. Every helper I've had in those years has used this thing. And I've changed the filter one time. And maybe the plug one time. And I'm not even joking. You should probably do it more often. I'm not recommending that. I think you should do it more. It just cranks and goes. That's what you want a trimmer to do. You want it to crank and go, right? Crank and go, crank and go, crank and go. That's all it does. I haven't broke a starter rope. It's metal around there. So metal around there. Yeah, that might or might not be metal. Feels plastic, but it's all right. It's fine. You see the width so you don't get burnt right here's the muffler this little piece of things right here is to keep you from getting burnt it's cosmetically pleasing the mark ii looks even better they got a husvarna husvarna logo right here but again i don't think the plates is big but you can see i have dropped it's pushed up into the gas tank Ooh, i need to get them boogers out i've even hit it so much that it's <laughs> It, it keeps running. I don't know how you can beat this trimmer. Magnesium here. Solid shaft. It's got the right angle. These have the torque heads. If you noticed, for some reason, these heads are identical looking because they are. They all got solid shafts in them. So, Husqvarna beats at Red Max. It's own people. It's own brother. It's straddle charged engine. Uh, it's dummy proof up here. So you stop it. That never tore up on me yet. Red Max's is, I kind of like Red Max's better, but I like Husqvarna's triggers better. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of this thing, but it's, it's nice. I like, I like that trend. No complaints. Now I did have to take it into the shop because of the uh, cable broke, but other than that, I've never took the Husqvarna's in the shop. Not once, not ever. And I have many Husqvarna's. And you're going to say, well, you're just a fanboy. And I'm watching this video and it's stupid because you only like Husqvarna. No, no. <laughs> Go to my old videos. Seven, eight, nine, how many ever years ago it was. When I helped start the whole community. I dogged every brand, but still, still this still that still 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 it steals my heart so and then i started opening my eyes and quit being a fanboy moron because if you're just not willing to try other stuff that's your own ignorance i'm sorry and ignorance the terminology is lack of knowledge and you're just showing it you're showing your ignorance so in 2014 2015 i had 94r and i was just all about it that came out to the market and i had to have it to try it and i was going to just make fun of it and then the handle was that little rubber bushing but it ain't a bushing isolator 
was off and my handle was angled so i made many hate videos on this trimmer just because of that well that's far enough replace the handle i should have took it back to the dealer i know but i was just a butt okay i'll be honest and then when it was fixed i was like oh my gosh so i started buying a bunch of husqvarna now i do have echo i was in the echo program before the whatever it's called now uag we used to have an ambassador program that was the first thing it started at all so i had an echo 2620t before it was even available to buy great trimmer no complaints it is just like carrying a big log compared to this the 2620t is very powerful these will rival it no problem i don't care what anybody says here in the mountains anyway that does i don't know about your elevation maybe you need to adjust the carb because i adjust carbs that's just me and i'll get them so strong it's ridiculous and i've adjusted every one of these i just do it i just I lean it out a little bit and it just scalding dog runs and there's my power because they don't do that here they don't crank these up out of the box at all the dealer with well, the dealers i went to so they just had it set to wherever the factory is so when you get in this higher elevation or lower than what they are you need to adjust your carb you're gonna say i shouldn't have to no you shouldn't the dealer should do it steel's dealers does that that's why they crank it up they make sure it's running and they supposed to adjust the carb to the area atmosphere so quit being a cry baby if you don't know how to adjust it learn or just take it to your dealer and tell me lean it out for you just a little head of time you ain't gonna freaking all the way or anything or you know what i'm saying but anyway you can crank her up make it more powerful best trimmer in the world it's 10 pounds <sighs> They made the gas tank bigger. That was probably my only problem is the gas. It didn't last. But now at the Mark II, it's a shame that I've done bought, I don't know how many of these. Now the new one's prettier. <laughs> or to see if this piece is the same and just get me the Husqvarna logo one and I'd be happy. Of course, it's more... God, my elbow is... Yeah, I use this as one hand most time. Anybody that watches me, I just use one hand to weed eat probably 80 percent of the time that's not a joke so anyway best trimmer on the planet you can challenge me you can post something stupid like steals the best well you won't tell me how steals the best you'll say so and so said so or i've used one for this many years and then i'm like have you though have you most of you can't tell me you have or haven't now say make me a video about it nothing so before you come here dogging me saying this and that's better i better see you owning all of them like i do <laughs> i better see something because let me tell you if i buy another trimmer when you start using it you're almost going to hate every brand you use you know why because of muscle memory you are so used to like riding this zero turn or standard versus riding a different brand you get to what's called muscle memory that's how dancers learn how to dance it's muscle memory so you're going to hate any brand that you use. It's going to feel like it's not level. It's going to feel blah, 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 blah. So until you put a couple of hours to a day or two, you don't even know what you're talking about. Muscle memory. So get one for a couple of days and then come back to me and say, Exterminator. You was right. <laughs> Crap, I gotta go put my tractor up. Peace, chicken grease. Ramelim.